Hello team, Mark McGurin here with PCG Consulting and I'm about to get in trouble because I'm about to introduce my wife in the back that she's sitting there and says hi. So we have to share an office here. I do travel a lot, uh, but I, I'm going to start creating more videos about just BDC internet best practices. Um, and ultimately, clearly you can see um, this isn't a green screen, this is live and I want to speak from the heart. And so as, as time evolves, if there's something you would like me to, to talk about, I'd be more than happy to do so. Hopefully my mic is working today. Yesterday I was a chipmunk. Uh, and so Eric Hall, if you call me, I will answer. So um, apparently it is working. So that's a good thing. So I want to talk about uh, killing the clock. And so there's actually, I'm re, um, making uh, or redoing our selling cars in the digital age book and updating that with uh, new data. And one of the chapters I'm working on is it's called Quick Draw McGraw, Don't Just Kill the Clock. See, manufacturers um, are pushing us and pushing dealers to, uh, I'm gonna turn, I gotta turn off my sound here. Um, sorry, uh, again, newbie here. Manufacturers are pushing us to with response times, right? So back when I was on dealership um, and General Motors did this, they actually paid us, a dealer, $10,000 in one quarter if our 24-hour clock was less than one hour. So what happened from there? You know what happened from there? Businesses happened, meaning other manufacturers, other vendors popped up all across our, our space and said, hey, I can stop your clock at the middle of the night. And so that's what happened. So that what we focused on was not quality. We want, we focused on just the speed. And what happened with dealers all across this country, and it's still happening to this day, people are just killing the clock. Lead comes in, we get busy, and you literally hear what we did at my dealership was we had made a phone call, hit KC, I mean killed the clock. Okay, so we did that and we were trained from the manufacturers and you know what, I, I got to give credit to the manufacturers because they're trying to focus on getting you, the dealer, to respond, <coughs> excuse me, respond quickly to your customers. And that's ex extremely important, important. So don't get me wrong. We have to get to our consumers extremely fast. But what's happening though is, is dealerships all across the country are just killing the clock. Okay, and they're getting these stats from manufacturer. The dealers got, are, are uh, and they're pushing the dealer principles that are general managers. The general managers are then pushing up the internet and BDC director. So what are they doing? They are killing the clock. So when the dealer principal gets the report back from the manufacturers, hey, we're doing great. We're at 10 minutes, we're 20 minutes, or whatever the case is. Okay, we're number one in the zone, number one in the nation. I don't care about being number one in the nation if the process is poor for the consumer. All right, so what I want to talk about is don't just kill the clock. So many dealers are doing this, but why not, Mark? The manufacturers are doing this. They're pushing me. I get pressure from my dealer principal. I get that. But what happens? You know why they're doing that? You know why they're pressuring you? Okay, Brad, you know why they're pushing you to stop the clock at your dealership to make sure you're tracking that? They're doing that because they know every statistic it's out there, your closing ratio goes through the roof if you get to that consumer at a much faster rate. Okay, so there's a couple different uh, uh, CRMs out there that actually allow you to track your closing ratio based on how fast you got the consumer. One of those is Dealer Socket, and kudos to you because you could actually see uh, with Dealer Socket how well your closing ratio is if you got to lead within 30 minutes, from 31 minutes to 60 minutes, 61, so on and so forth. What we have found typically is your closing ratio is anywhere between 20 and 40% higher if you get to that consumer within 30 minutes. And that's with the first quality response and not just a BS killing the clock, okay? So by killing the clock, what's happening is your tasks usually get dropped down in your CRM and we're not getting to that consumer as fast as we should. Well, Mark, uh, we're busy, we're cradle to grave. I get that then you need to be staffed properly. If you're not staffed properly, then you're gonna end up doing that. And what's happening is you're hurting your dealership. Because when you pull that report of your response time, okay, and it says it's 10 minutes, it's 15 minutes, that's not real data. And see, a long time ago, I learned you can't fix what you don't know. And if you don't know your actual response time, how can you fix it? So folks, what you need to do 
is stop telling your team to kill the clock. Stop it, okay? But Mark, my response time is gonna go down. That's fine. Because once you know what your response time is, you then can put processes and procedures and people in place in order to do that and to fix that, to get to that consumer as fast as possible, okay? So please, folks, you have to put processes and procedures in place to fix the problem. The problem is we're not getting to consumers fast enough. The manufacturer is right in grading this, but they've coached us and trained us because it's so important to them because one metric they can grade really easily, how fast we get to them, okay? Do not fall in that trap. Your closing ratio will go down. If you're at 10%, okay, you probably could be at 12% with a faster response time. I promise you, stop killing the clock because once you fix it, fix the real problem of not getting to the consumer fast enough, that's when you start selling cars. Forget the response time from the manufacturers. You might peak in a month, okay, but if you're really paying attention, then you're probably gonna stick around uh, but around an hour, that's gonna happen. Okay, but maybe you don't, you're no longer 10 minutes, you're no longer top of the zone, but you know what's gonna happen? Your closing ratio is gonna go up because what's going to happen is you're gonna fix this. Get the people in place to follow this process. Have a manager, when they get that text that says, boop, hey, so-and-so, Brad hasn't responded to his lead, they jump in there and maybe, what do they manage you? Possibly call that customer and try to get in touch with them and get to a dialogue happening, right? Because that's the first step is just getting to a communication. Because when that consumer submits that lead and you get to them within five minutes, physically, where is that customer? Most likely in front of that, that uh, computer or on their phone. Okay, so think about that. Stop killing the clock. It is affecting your closing ratios. If you're at 12% and you're killing the clock, I guarantee you're leaving meat on the table. Maybe it's 14, 15%, okay? The reason this is important, the reason manufacturers uh, track this is because it is important. Get to that consumer in less than 30 minutes with a first quality response, I promise you, your closing ratio will go up. I'm going to be expanding on this in a, in a couple different uh, other modules, but i got to get it out there. Uh, someone on LinkedIn post on that. Troy Germain actually asked about that. I'm going to be doing some more in depth, but i got to get it out there. Stop killing the clock. You're hurting only one. The only person you're hurting is yourself. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's my last live stream for the day, possibly, so I don't want to uh, bore everyone. So anyways, thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next go-round.